Hey guys, so today I am going to be trying to veer away a little bit from all of the eating disorder topics just because that's not all I am and that's not all who you are either. So today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a get ready with me for my ballet class tonight. My ballet class is at 7 o'clock but obviously I cannot just start getting ready and film it at 6 o'clock because that would be a disaster. And I usually get ready like right before. I also want to just do a quick disclaimer. I will be also showing two different meal ideas and what I had for dinner tonight. So if you are struggling with disordered eating and you compare a lot, I recommend not watching this video. But if you do feel comfortable and want to see some more meal ideas for me that match the meal plan that I talked about in my previous meal plan video, then go ahead and keep watching. Well, obviously my hair is already in a bun, but it's a very loose bun. I do have a certain way of doing my buns that I do every time, so I am going to definitely include that in this video. I see other ballerinas have so much easier of a time doing their buns when they have, like, long hair. And I guess mine's, like, kind of long. But recently, over COVID, I cut it, like, that short, I think. And really glad it's grown out. Another disclaimer, this is not my natural hair color. My natural hair color is blonde. I'd say sort of like a dirty blonde. Um, I recently dyed my hair platinum blonde. And then my mother didn't like it. And I was bored, so I decided to dye it a really dark reddish brown and then this is what it's settled out to. So to brush my hair I always use a wet brush. I refuse to use anything else. My mom would always comb my hair as a child and I fucking hated it. It hurts so badly. quickly show you guys this water bottle. I got it on Amazon. It looks color changing, but it's not. It's just blue and it like fades up to pink. That's just how it is without water in it as well. And it has this cap that you can put on top and then you can lock it so it doesn't come off. But when you take the lock off and press this button, it pops right out. It's like magic. This has the times on it. So it has the times on one side for the first time you fill it up and the times on the other side for the second time you fill it up. After I exercise, I usually drink a glass of Pedialyte. And before I exercise, I like to drink a glass of Pedialyte too, or at least Propel, just because I do have POTS and I need extra sodium. So I do do a low bun and today I'm going to be doing a middle part, which is what I usually do. If you see me looking over here, it's because I have a mirror. And the reason I do a middle part for my buns is because I have a major widow's peak from my dad, I'm pretty sure. And I find it very, I just hate it on myself. So now that I have my middle part, I'm going to flatten out my hair and I'm doing a low bun, so I'm going to pull my hair to the back at the bottom of my head in a ponytail. I'll kind of use my fingers to make it flat at the back of my head as well as the front of my head. I do need to get more ponytails that match my hair color because the only ones I have right now are either like purple, black, or for blonde hair. This is my middle part. It's very uneven, but we're just going to go with it. So this is actually how my mom did my buns when I was a competing gymnast when I was in like second grade. So I'm using the Extra Hold Hair Gel by Tresemme and my mom would always use the hair gel to flatten out the sides of our head and the back of our head. So I'm just going to rub that through my fingers and just flatten my hair. I 
I'm going to take some bobby pins and just flatten it to my head. I also need hair clips for my head because I love those way more than bobby pins. But I need them to match my hair. Once again, all the hair clips I have now are like purple. So I'm putting it on the sides of my head to keep the hair down. Looking pretty smooth. And I have another ponytail holder and now I'm taking more hair gel to fully hair gel this and make it kind of a slick hot dog. That was the most unappealing thing I could have said. I'm just going to twist the hot dog or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to wrap a ponytail holder around it to keep it sort of flat. This is where we're at right now. Usually it actually doesn't stay in place when I put a ponytail holder in like this, but I think it's just because my hair is growing longer now. I do always use a hairnet, even though it does not match my hair. I'm just very concerned that my hair will fall out. Now I'm taking the Tresme Hold Level 4 hairspray. This is a micro mist, whatever that means. And then I am just wrapping the hairnet around my head over and over again. And to make the hairnet look a little bit less ugly, I always choose a scrunchie to put over my bun. I'm going to be choosing this color today. I decided it was kind of Christmassy, you know? It's green, so. So now I'm just gonna go over with the Tresemme hairspray all over my head, everywhere. I'm also going to take a couple extra hair clips just to make sure the back is held down. Alright guys, so that is my bun today and now I'm going to show you what leotard I'm going to wear. This is the leotard I'm going to wear. It's very wrinkly. I haven't actually worn it yet, but I have tried it on. Um, sorry, the lighting is absolutely terrible. But it is long sleeved and I don't even think it has a brand because I got it on Amazon. This is how the leotard fits. I usually don't wear a bra with it, but right now I'm not actually going to dance yet. I still have to stretch and I have like five hours till dance, but don't tell anyone. I don't usually wear makeup to dance just because I sweat so ridiculously much. It's absolutely crazy. And then when I get out of dance, my whole face is red, but then I'll have, like, mascara just all over my face. It's, it's a complete mess, so I just go without. So when I first start off stretching, I do like to roll out my muscles. I also have a roller that you can hold in both hands. So when I first start off stretching, I do like to roll out my muscles. I also have a roller that you can hold in both hands. I'll usually use that one to roll out my calves, but here I am rolling out my back and my thighs just because that's what hurt from my workout yesterday. I did a lot of back strengthening and also arm strengthening, but obviously I'm not going to roll out my arms. I don't know how I would do that myself. I do like to stretch on a daily basis, at least five times a week if there are days when I'm too busy, but I really like to make a point to stretch before my ballet class because there is not an empty room to stretch in before my ballet class because there are a lot of other classes going on before mine. It starts at 7 p.m., so I do have to definitely stretch before or else I will not be warm and everything will be extremely painful. And now here is the clip 
where my cat starts coming in to join the party. Um, her name is Martha. She's quite the old lady. She likes to stay upstairs all day. She is 15 years old, just like her brother, but she is a lot less, you know, friendly to other people. I'm now going into a butterfly position. I know the camera angle in these clips are horrible, but I was not about to refilm it, and there's me giving her a kiss because she definitely deserves it. Anyways, I'm trying to push my legs flat down. It's hard just because of my calves and my thighs, and I do have some hip pain typically when I do this. I do pop my hips a lot, not on purpose, but just when I lay down and when I open my thighs out. Now I'm just stretching by having my legs spread out, trying to get as straight as possible and putting my body down and my hands to my feet. I do this when my feet are pointed and also while they are flexed. When they're flexed, I kind of put one arm over to the side and when they're pointed, I usually just put both hands on each foot. Now I am stretching for my splits. I am left-legged so I can do full splits on my left leg. I do have to keep my hands down on my right splits just because it's too painful to go down and I'm not warm enough at this point in time. When I did gymnastics when I was younger, I was able to do my left, right, and middle splits all the way down. I have lost some flexibility since then, or more so, I have gained pain since then, but that's what happens when you have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and you get older. I know I'm only 18, but I feel like an old woman already. So this is just a quick film of what I had for lunch today. I had guacamole is my fat, eggs and my protein, bread is my carbs, and also oranges for fruit, and that is my cat. So today for dinner, I stupidly decided to have a banana ice cream smoothie bowl thing. This was only because I wanted to use up the Sun Warrior protein powder that I'm about to show you. It is absolutely disgusting, but I bought it with my own money and I wanted to use it up. So the bananas and the strawberry were my fruit in this, and then the protein powder was obviously my protein. I have the yogurt as a dairy. Alright guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm about to head out for dance. I have everything in my bag needed. And lots of warm clothes over my leotard because it's freezing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.